Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kyle here and welcome to the very first episode of the 2017 racing season vlogs. Uh, today we are heading out to Ransomville Speedway for their annual Hangover 150. It has been postponed a couple times. Today is finally the day. Um, I have kind of got myself off to a late start. I woke up a little bit later than what I was hoping to. Uh, my drive time is actually longer than the time from now until the first green flag. So we've got a bit of a uh, a bit of a hike to make. Um, hopefully we can get there in time to see the first green flag. Uh, well, worst case scenario, we'll miss the first little bit of the first race, uh, which shouldn't be too too bad. So uh, without any further ado, let's get uh, let's get rocking and rolling. We need to get out of here. So as you can see here, uh, we got a little bit of snow last night. Uh, so we got to get this uh, beautiful Malibu. We got to get her all uh, all plowed off with uh, with this snow, so we can see while we're uh, while we're making our trek here today. I tell you, these snow brooms—they're pretty damn awesome. A lot better than the snow brush that I had. This is just kind of like the community snow brush throughout the family. We don't really uh, have a set owner for this. Everybody kind of uses it as they please, so it uh, makes things a lot faster. Which in this scenario we need speed because we are running behind so the faster we can get this thing cleaned off and ready to go the faster we can head out and get to the track as uh, you can probably tell it is looking a little windy today so that's going to make things a little uncomfortable while we sit and enjoy the racing uh, but I guess that's just uh that's just how it goes so we'll see how uh we'll see how it all plays out when we get out there of course there's a couple hours to allow for temperature and weather changes and stuff so i guess we'll just kind of see how it all goes all right so here we go we got the car all brushed off we're in it we're ready to go uh the green flag the first green flag drops in two hours and 19 minutes my cell phone map says that it takes about two hours and 44 minutes to get to the racetrack so as you can probably tell, uh, there's going to be a bit of a uh, a bit of excitement to try to get to the track on time. But uh, we'll see how it goes. If uh, if we miss a little bit, we miss a little bit, but we'll still be able to see a good amount of racing today, no matter what. So let's uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's hit that uh, let's hit that throughway. All right, so we made it onto the throughway. We just got on. We're just rocking and rolling. Um, right now the GPS is saying that we're going to get there at 12.26, it's 9.52 right now, um, so that puts us quite a ways uh, back from the first green flag, so we could uh, see the potential to miss a lot of the first race, but um, there's three races today, so it, uh, it won't be too bad, and they're pretty slow moving races with what it is and how the weather and the track is and stuff. Since I've got a little bit of time here, well, a lot of bit of time, um, and we're now on the road and we're now cruising, I uh, figured I would kind of talk to you guys about what to expect with this, uh, first off, what, what to expect with this uh, vlog series, and then what you can uh, specifically expect from today's event. Um, so we're going to be doing vlogs throughout the entire uh, year uh, with all of my racing travels. Um, I live in central New York. We have a plethora of racetracks here in New York State, mainly dirt racing. Um, and all throughout uh, some of the some of our fellow northeastern states as well, um, such as like Pennsylvania, um, New Jersey, states like that. Um, there's a lot of a lot of dirt racing and just a lot of racing in general up here in the Northeast. Um, we've got some really awesome things uh, planned for possibilities uh, throughout this entire year. Um, I will be trying to hit up three racetracks a week on the weekends during the regular racing season for uh, the weekly weekly trips. Um, and then of course we have a whole bunch of different traveling uh, plans and traveling adventures to take. Uh, the first one will be coming up in just a few weeks. Uh, three weeks from now we'll be down in Daytona uh, for, the, for the Daytona 500. Um, 
there's a possibility to go out to Knoxville for the Knoxville Nationals this summer. Um, one of my big goals is I want to follow the entire Super Dirt Car Series schedule. Um, so that'll pose the, the opportunity to go down to Charlotte for the World Finals and um, the World Short Track Championship that they have before that. So um, lots of trips up to Canada as well. There's going to be a lot of really awesome stuff that we do this year. Um, I am extremely excited to get back into the racing flow of things and get back to racing. Um, I have been very, very much missing it. And as we get closer and, you know, I'm only a few weeks away from going down to the nice warm weather and experiencing racing down there in Daytona. So um, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to get back to the racetrack and bring you guys along with me on everything that I do, making it more enjoyable and making it a more entertaining experience for myself. Uh, kind of expose the world of racing, my world of racing, my local scenes world of racing, and uh, get to take you guys along on some pretty awesome trips as well. Um, another thing to really kind of expect is not necessarily all of these will be um, super racing related, but uh, you know, like for Daytona, um, I'm probably going to vlog my trip, the first day of my trip, just flying down and getting down to Daytona and getting settling in, or getting settled in, um, and everything like that. So, uh, it'll, it'll kind of be a really cool experience. Pretty much everything that you guys see in this vlog throughout the year will be racing related, um, but not everything will necessarily be race cars at racetracks and stuff like that. So now that I've kind of told you guys what to expect for the entirety of the series. Um, can I give you guys a little information about what you're going to see in today's race? So today, uh, like I mentioned, we are heading out to Ransomville Speedway in Ransomville, New York uh, for the Hangover 150. This is an event that they normally do on New Year's Day uh, before the second consecutive year they pushed it back. Uh, we saw some warmer weather than what we're normally used to here in New York for January. Um, so I guess it created some sloppy and unfavorable conditions at the racetrack where they had to push it off. I've checked everything to make sure that it was good. I haven't seen any cancellations again for today, so I believe that we're all set and good. Not going to be happy if I end up traveling out here two and a half hours plus by myself to see nothing. But um, I don't think we'll have to worry about that. So what this event is, is... It's obviously not your, your normal race because it's winter and it's snowy and you can't really have a normal dirt track event in the winter. So this is a three race event. It is three 50 lap races. They are enduro races. Uh, you guys know that I have hosted a handful of different enduro races in the past. Um, with iRacing, uh, and this is kind of what I try to stem them off of. Uh, they have four, six, and eight cylinder Enduros, 50 laps apiece, and it's pretty much you drop the green flag and whoever can survive uh, the best wins the race. So it uh, it's pretty cool to, to watch. This is the third year that I have uh, been to go to it. Um, last year's kind of sucked because they raced in really, really horrible track conditions. Uh, they were very, very slow. They were, throughout some of the races, they were trying to cut through the track and uh, cut through the infield of the track to find some space to be able to uh, successfully race because it was so sloppy and so terrible on the, the actual racing surface. Um, so, it wasn't the most entertaining thing to see like, last year. Uh, two years ago was pretty cool. Uh, it actually happened on New Year's Day like it was supposed to. And uh, it, it, was, it was really fun. It was a cool thing to, to experience. So I'm hoping today's is really cool. Um, so far we shaved off a minute from our drive time. I have another 108 miles to go uh, here on the throughway heading out west. So this will be... Uh, this will be a fun little, fun little experience. So I'm glad I have you guys to kind of chit chat with and, and talk to for a little portion of this. So um, that's pretty much what you can expect today. It's going to be a really awesome time. It's going to be a really cool event. Um, I hope that it is very entertaining, very fun to watch. Uh, I brought a bunch of warm clothes with me. I've got a jacket, some gloves, a hat. So hopefully it will uh, we'll be nice and cozy and comfortable watch this thing today and not be too cold, um, but I'm a dedicated race fan, so I am ready for this no matter what, so um, I think we will uh, wrap this portion of the video.
video up and uh, we will see you guys at the racetrack. All right, so we just got to the track. We are finally here. Um, it kind of sounds quiet out there, so they may not have actually started yet, which is a pretty cool thing. 12:11, um, so we got here in pretty good time. Shaved uh, about 15, 16 minutes off of uh, off the clock. So I'm pretty happy. We're gonna bundle up and we're gonna head down to the racetrack and get this rocking and rolling. Here we go. It's time to go racing. All right, so we are all bundled up. We are walking up to the track. Um, now I've got a better visual to see it. They have started. Um, I don't know how far into the first race they are yet, but they have started. Um, shouldn't be too much if they started right at noon. So we'll get in there as quickly as we can, get a seat, and I'll start shooting some stuff for you guys. And uh, have some fun. Right away. All right, so we've gotten in. But he's given enough time to work his way all the way around. It'll be 15 to go when Richter comes back around. stages in an enduro surprise that car is still intact as well as it is but the question is does brett zenick have enough time and a real to figure out who you're talking about who the leader is to get back to the rickner car Is so there's a whole a dog pile of cars down in turn four over there. Get around the 51 without any issues. So the race will be on for the two spot relatively quickly. It's Brett using his sportsman knowledge to his advantage here, Dave. He has quickly reeled into his announce game. about a car length and a half. They're down the back straight away for the second position. Yeah, this one fighting it up. Brett Senek looking for his second career hangover victory. Going to looking for his second year in a row. Won the four-cylinder race last year. And he's going to try and split the difference between Zieranowski and the lap car, but he bounced off the 53. And now look out the 53 is sideways Doug Fisher. But Senek will dispatch it him off the turn four. So Senek. He's heading sideways going into one, looking for some light over there. So he is a straightaway, uh, he's got a two-third lap lead over the battle for seconds. Yeah. Oh, this guy might be calling it quits. Seven has some clear racetrack in front of him. As here's Senek to the inside off of four. Looks like it. And Brett Senek now back up to second place in front of Zirinowski. Where things are going to get yeah, We're going to keep this on the battle for the lead here. These two cars over in turn three. three lap cars. He is catching at the moment. And Senek is right there. They're I think Senek's going to get him. Speedway. I think this seven car is going to take it. He's closing pretty big. Four to go at the line. He's 24 and he's going to pick it up a little bit. Senek closing in as they head into turn one. And the lap car in front of Rickner. Oh, here he goes. Down the bottom. It's within two car lengths. Rickner setting for the lead down the back straightaway with the lap car of Garen in front of them. Now the lap car slides up the banking off the wall. He'll get out. Oh, he's going to oh, 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 oh. He gets in between the leaders. The jam car right now is the 51 with three to go. That buys Rickner some time. That could be the deciding factor right there. Just that one lap car sliding in front of Senek. Senek now. Oh! Oh, and he gets into the 51, and Senek spins! Oh, Senek in second. The comeback is derailed. That's going to halt it. One car up in a big cloud of smoke over. That's going to halt it. It'll be two to go. 24 is going to get it now. He's got a big yip. Rickner sees the parallel flags and all that momentum that again just killed by the 51. Rickner's got a lot of space now, he's gonna get it. Because there's a second right over here. That 51 still in front of Senek right now. Lap and a half to go for Kyle Rickner. Take him out. Wreck him. He cost you your win. There you go. 
Oh, he saved it. Oh, he's still out of control. And it'll be white flag for the leader here on a turn four. Oh! Oh! Just, oh! just dump setting in turn three. Yeah. And that'll yeah. set it. Well, he's going to keep it going. He's still going to be in second place. I killed the 51, though. But work down the back short away one final time. Where's the leader? There's the leader in turn three. Orange 24. Oh, oh, watch the lamper! Oh, Clip the, oh, he dumped it. And here he comes, working through turns three and four. Checker flag is out. Your six-cylinder hangover 150 winner is Kyle Rickner as he crosses the finish line in the 24. The race for second is gonna be setting for second in the seven. And third place will go to Zieranowski in the two. There's second right here. All right, guys, they just got the entire four-cylinder field out on the track. There are over 70 cars for this race. 70 cars plus in this race. Check this out. All of the cars for this four-cylinder Enduro. 50 laps the distance. Things are getting ready to get this going here. All right, we're here ready we go. to get going. Let's count it down. Here we go. From five, four, four three, two, two, one. There we go. The guys in the back won't even be able to move until the fucking leaders lap them. Here we go. Oh, we already got one dumped. The 48. Look at all of them. Oh, buddy, watch the 36. And just like that, we got a conveyor belt on this racetrack. We got them beating and banging outfits here in number two. All right, leading lap one. And there you go. Just like that, we got cars cycling around the whole place. This is a conveyor belt here at Ransomville Speedway. Cars are everywhere. Cars are absolutely everywhere. We got a spinner in three. Here's your leader down the back stretch. Get moving, buddy. You're in the middle of the track. There he goes. Oh, more problems. There's a Santa Claus on top of the number 10 there, in case you didn't see that already. Big old stack up in turn two. We got. The eight car pushing a tire. Kramer's got the windshield wipers. Right, he's got it. He's got to move he's now. Going, Look at how bloody the windshield is on the three year leader. <laughs> oh, they're down in the in the in the infield over here. Yeah, it looks like Brett Senek is into second in the twelve. Seventy four just putzing around. Senek looking for the redemption here. Trying to survive. Oh, we got a spinner on the back stretch. Another spinner. Two of them. There's Santa. Still hanging tough. Oh, oh, we got him way down in here. Oh, that, that's that's a dead car from pretty. Oh, we got a we got a stack up. Big old stack up. Oh yeah. Put the power down. Oh, there's a big old American flag on that one. I didn't see that. Oh, that one's got American flag too. America. What the fuck? Did something hit that or did that just like fall? Looks like Kramer. I'm so confused right now. All of this and we're only four laps in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got a pile up in one. So that PT Cruiser.
Cruiser right there, that 35. That is a guy that I actually uh, raced with in NR 2003. That is Mitch Bombard. Mitch or Mitchell. They announced his name as Mitchell. Got some spinners on the back stretch. There is carnage everywhere. Still a lot of people moving though. Santa still surviving over on the 10. Got some problems over here. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, one up in the outside wall. We got a few stuck down in the bottom. We got a hood popping up over here. Oh, don't. Uh oh, he might be stuck. He might not get out of that one. Oh, this guy's in trouble. Oh, he's in big trouble. He is down in the moat. He is down in the moat. I think that's what they call that here. Does they call it the moat? Oh! Tony Stewart car plowing through. Oh boy. Uh oh. Can he get out? He's gonna get out. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh, I think he's not. He's knocked out. Holy shit, he's knocked out. significant loss in car count as this race has progressed. I think that 39 car right there, I believe that is the leader. This car in front of us here. Been trying to keep up with what they've been saying. Shepard car, that is the 33. So the 33 is the leader, I believe it's that guy over there, possibly in turn two. Try to confirm that as he comes around here. But yeah, there are over 70 cars that started this race. There's probably 
can't be more than 15 out of the track, if that. We're gonna have a race for the finish here, boys. We're gonna have a race for the finish. Washington 4. Hopefully the camera stays for this last lap. They're coming for the white flag. Conti to the inside. They're side by side. The white flag and Conti has got the lead as they come to the white flag. This 39 just took the lead. 39 on the inside, kind of the outside second. They're racing for it. Can he get there? Can the camera get there? Double checkers. And the 39 get Hey guys, so it's actually Monday evening uh, right now. Um, I had to I, I had to end this vlog rocking out uh, my Super Bowl 49 Patriots chance hats because we just won Super Bowl 51 last night. Crazy, crazy stuff. You guys saw it on stream. Um, so, my camera died on me while I was recording stuff. Um, I tried to pick it back up with my phone, record things on my phone. Um, I bought a new video editing software so I could combine um, GoPro files and phone files. Um, put the video together, created it, and it looked like absolute shit. So I really didn't want to upload that. Um, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer. So I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna get this out to you guys. Uh, I'll probably have it uploaded on Tuesday. Um, I apologize for the few day delay, but I really wanted to make this as good as I possibly could. Um, and I, I I don't like releasing a crappy looking product. So hopefully you guys can understand. Um, so I apologize for the parts that you guys ended up missing. Unfortunately, um, I will take into consideration and plan ahead for the future um, to bring my charging equipment with me. I can charge the camera in my, uh, in my car. I should have done that. Um, so we'll we'll make that a uh, we'll make that a fix for for the future. Um, like I said, this is my first vlog ever. So um, hopefully we'll be able to make some some pretty good improvements throughout the um, throughout the year. Um, so this is how uh, we're going to end our first vlog uh, for Ransomville, the Hangover 150. Um, I had a lot of fun on Saturday. It was a blast. It was nice to kind of have a day to myself to just have fun, get into the racing thing of th racing swing of things. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this upcoming year. we got a lot of awesome stuff planned. Um, I'm super excited to be able to bring you guys along with me throughout all of these uh, races. And I hope that you guys are just as excited as I am. Uh, with that being said, please do not be afraid to leave any constructive criticism. I am totally okay with constructive criticism as long as it is appropriately um, addressed and not super rude and uh, inappropriate. Um, so feel free to leave your comments on what you thought, what you um, what you liked, what you disliked, what you would like to see different, what you would like to see added, different things like that. Um, let me know what you think about the length. I personally think this video might be a little bit too long. Um, but I don't know how you guys feel. It's going to be a little bit longer for the first one since we kind of added in some things that won't always be discussed and talked about with it being a first time, uh, first thing for a series. So a lot of some of those stuff you probably won't see throughout the entirety of it, but um, those are things that I felt like that were important to add in. So um, feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. Um, you can contact me in any other way that you know how uh, with any advice, any uh, suggestions that you would like to leave. I'm totally open for that. Um, just be respectful about it. Be cool about it. Um, and that is uh, that's really going to conclude it. Daytona is going to be the next uh, the next one on the list. It's going to be super, super cool, super awesome. I cannot wait, and I hope that we are able to produce a super awesome vlog for you guys to be able to enjoy my very first experience down in Daytona for Speed Weeks. So thank you guys for tuning on in. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Feel free to leave your constructive criticism, your comments, your suggestions, your likes, your dislikes down below. Like the video, just like the video, subscribe to the channel, post it around. Make sure you guys check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash breakupfan24. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash tsrctv, and Twitter, twitter.com slash tsrctv as well. Thank you guys for the support. We will see you in the next one.